in the Breeders' Cup Juvenile, and Kinkai puts Capote on the lead as they pass the first time, and here comes Damascus Drama now. After, him, after the lead as the field moves into the first turn. Into the first turn, it's Damascus Dram on the outside and Capote toward the inside, matching strides on the lead, and Gulch is tucked in behind them nicely in third. Then on the outside, that's Flying Newsboy now racing in fourth position. Demons be gone, he's only five lengths off the early lead, racing in fifth. Qualifies sixth on the outside, and Polish Navy now he's seventh in saving ground toward the rail. Gold on green is eighth on the outside, followed by Orono, who is now ninth. Bet twice is racing tenth. On the inside, it's Flying Lieutenant, and he's now racing in 11th position. On the outside, it's Pledge Card, and uh, another four lengths back to the trailer, Ali Sheba. The quarter in 22 and 2, and the half in 45 and 4. And Pinkai will try to take Capote now, wire to wire. It's Pinkai on the lead with Capote. They're leading by a length and a half, and here comes Cordero now. He's asking Gulch for more. And Demons Be Gone is stalking them now, and he's right there racing in third position. And here comes Qualify, and he's found his best stride. He's only five lengths off the lead as the field comes to the top of the stretch. Polish Navy is just in behind him, and Bet twice swings out for racing room as the field turns for home. It is Capote in front and driving hard. Qualify gaining ground in second with a furlong to the wire. Capote is full out to hold the lead. He's there by two. Qualify trying to catch him from the outside. It is still Capote. Qualify with one final surge. No, Capote has won it. It seems to me this show always belongs to you. We started out with your first. I should have bet the horse it was by two ball. Uh, did you think that the speed would hold today? I thought he might. I, a lot of people were critical of his race the, the last time in the uh, Norfolk Stakes because of the time, but we felt that he had a lot of room to improve. And I told Lafitte, I said, bounce away from there and see how they how they like it when you bounce along in 45 and change. And I said, he'll keep going. He's dead fit. And I just felt that, you know, he was the best horse. I think Carby we saw a good horse today. I'm one of the people you fooled. I know you got horses in the next race. Congratulations. I'm afraid we'll probably see you every race. I good luck to, to you. Back. Thank you. <laughs> Here's a young man who has a horse in the next race, too. Lafitte Pinkai, you won here uh, in the Breeders' Cup on Tasso a year ago, and now you bang right back here. This horse has been on the lead the last three times all the way. That's right. Uh, we, uh, we were thinking before the race of maybe to ready him and stay behind horses, but when I got to the paddock, uh, Wayne told me, I said, listen, just bounce him out of there and uh, see what's happened. You know, uh, if, he, if he breaks good and you can go on, just go ahead. And he did uh, everything right. Sensational way to start the day. Gene Klein, one of the owners, a very quick comment from you. Mr. French here and everybody, congratulations. Thank you, thank you. It was super thrilled. It's the third time I've been here, and I'd like it again.